the CompTIA Network Plus certification is designed to prove that an exam candidate has competency in the networking arena. It focuses on installing, troubleshooting, and maintaining basic networks. The exam is vendor neutral, which means that the certification does not focus on just one company's products. Instead, the certification objectives range across many technologies, services, hardware, and software. It has great value in the marketplace as an indicator of prospective employees' skill level, proving to employers that a job seeker has the necessary computer knowledge to complete their tasks with minimal supervision. The Network Plus exam covers six networking-related domains, which include network technologies, installation and configuration, media and typologies, management, and network security. There are several important changes to note that distinguishes the N10005 exam from the previous Network Plus N10004. First, the topic of network security has been increased in weight from 11% to 19%. If security is a weak area in your body of knowledge, you would benefit now more than ever from spending some extra time in your security studies. Second, virtual networking has been added to the objectives. Third, the network devices and network tools domains have been integrated into other domains on this new exam. Also, CompTIA has created a new domain, Network Installation and Configuration. The exam consists of 100 questions in a linear style. This means that you can go backward or forward with the exam, mark items, and change answers if necessary. The Network Plus exam consists of multiple choice questions. However, many of the multiple choice questions are based on exhibits, and you should be prepared to perform mathematical calculations, such as binary math calculations when solving a subnetting question. CompTIA reserves the right to change the bank of questions while still adhering to the objectives. The tests are administered on a computer within a very easy to use program. The majority of the time, you will simply click the letter of the corresponding correct answer. To pass the exam, you must achieve a score of 720 out of 900. This equates roughly to 80%, though it is difficult to compute exactly. Many candidates will prepare with practice exams and attempt to score 85% or higher in order to be ready for the real exams. You have a full hour and a half to take each exam. If you finish early, you can and should return to the questions and review your answers. In order to take the exams, you must first register with either Sylvan Prometric or Pearson View. Have personal identification, such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Either registering body's website can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Although the content of the Network Plus exam is not overly deep in its expectation of understanding technologies, it is extremely wide in its expectations. This means that you must understand a large number of topics at an introductory level. The wide range of knowledge makes the exam challenging if you are just entering the field, but it is what makes the certification itself relevant. Another problematic area on the Network Plus exam stems from the required memorization of speeds and feeds. For example, there are a wide variety of Ethernet standards using a variety of media types supporting a variety of speeds and having a variety of distance limitations. An exam question might require that you know such information about a given Ethernet standard. Therefore, a significant amount of memorization is required to be successful on such questions. Performing the binary math calculations required to subnet an IP network is another area where many test takers struggle. You should, for example, be able to take a given IP network and subnet it into a certain number of subnets to support a certain number of hosts and be able to identify the usable IP address range in each of these subnets. The vast majority of the test is multiple choice, and it requires the ability to choose a correct answer from a number of distractor options. Make sure to read the entire question and understand what they're looking for before making your choice. To properly prepare for the Network Plus exam, be sure to review the exam objectives available at the CompTIA website. These detailed objectives not only will list the various topics that may be covered, but also will identify the grading weight of each domain. Studying for the Network Plus exam lends itself quite well to flash question studying. Because the content itself is not that deep, the style of questions can be represented rather well in short form on this type of media. To prepare for the mathematical questions you might face, 
you can make up your own questions and then check your answers with a subnet calculator, which you can download for free at sites such as solarwinds.com. Hands-on experience can also enhance your odds of passing the exam. If you have some spare equipment, you could construct a sample network typology. With this typology, you could practice various Windows and Unix commands, familiarize yourself with network configuration options, and troubleshoot any issues you encounter. Using just one study guide might provide you with a narrow view of networking. By using various forms of study materials, including books, videos, and practice questions, you will become a more well-rounded examinee and greatly increase your chances of passing the exam. For self-study, the CompTIA Network Plus N10005 Authorized CERT Guide by Kevin Wallace is your best resource. This book from Pearson IT Certification is CompTIA Authorized, meaning that it covers all of the exam objectives. The book includes a 100-question practice exam and two hours of training videos. There is also a premium edition available that includes the book in PDF and EPUB formats, as well as four full practice exams and enhanced practice test features. The fourth edition of the CompTIA Network Plus N10005 Authorized Exam Cram by Emmett Delaney and Michael Harwood is perfect for late stage practice and review. It provides coverage and practice questions for every exam topic, including substantial new coverage of security, wireless, and voice networking. The book contains an extensive set of preparation tools, such as quizzes, exam alerts, and a practice exam, while the CD's state-of-the-art test engine provides real-time practice and feedback. There is also an exam cram premium edition and practice test available that includes the book in PDF and EPUB formats, as well as four full practice exams and enhanced practice test features. To reinforce your Network Plus skills and develop the hands-on skills you will need to succeed, we recommend the CompTIA Network Plus N10005 Simulator by Michael Taylor and Anthony Sequera. The simulator includes over four hours of video training and 153 hands-on labs. Finally, the CompTIA Network Plus N10005 Live Lessons by Anthony Sequera offers a collection of 18 video tutorials to help reinforce your understanding of key exam topics. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube and subscribe to our On Certification channel in iTunes. The CompTIA Network Plus exam is a standalone, introductory level certification that you can take as a first step into a number of different certifications, including vendor-specific certifications from Cisco and Microsoft. Good luck.